Hello Starlets, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. We're bringing a little bit of glamour to everyday life. Today I am talking about concealers. I did a review on the best and worst concealers in my concealer collection a while back and you guys really seem to love it. it is one of my most popular videos here on YouTube, so I decided to do an updated testing out the concealers that I didn't try in video one. So if you want to see video one, I will definitely link that video to this one in the cards section. If you're not familiar with the way I do these makeup collection reviews, basically I do it vlog style. I will show you applying it. I'll wear it throughout the day and I will give an update at the end of the day for each product so you can really see side by side in this video which ones really held up and which ones didn't. At the end of the video, I will also be giving you my A-list and D-list so you will see which products I loved and which ones I hated. So be sure you stay tuned to the end of the video for that. But in the meantime, if you want to see my updated concealer collection video, then just keep watching. I know with the last concealer test, I always did a neutralizer under my eyes because I always do that to cover up my dark circles. But I think I want to try two different ones, one on each eye to compare. I have one that I'm going to use on one eye, which is my Tarte CC Corrector. It's one of my favorites. It has the most coverage out of all of them, and I I think it has the least creasing for the amount of coverage. So I'm going to use this on this eye. If you've watched my how to cover dark circles thing, you know I have some different levels of you know coverage. This eye has the neutralizer, and I'm going to use my Radiant NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, the shade Honey. And I'm gonna use that on both eyes because I wanna see if I'm doing like my all out double corrector on this eye or if I'm just doing my like single corrector on this eye. I wanna kinda see how the different concealers work because I just don't have much faith that I'd be able to get away with just a concealer. I went the extra mile of doing extra coverage on this eye and then this one is just sort of my everyday coverage. And the first concealer I'm going to be using is the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer. This has been so hyped up. I got the shade Light. It's got a huge like wand here. In fact, I think I tested in my last concealer video the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer, which I love as a blemish concealer but not so much under the eyes. It's like the same size wand. And this is really meant for foundation, although you can use it as concealer too. So this is a big, big wand, let me tell you. And you know what they say about a big wand. All right, I'm already feeling like this shade is a little light for me, but it, it's going on pretty thick. I'm going to go over it with a brush. This is my Real Techniques setting brush. This is a little light for me. I find I'm not in love with going too light on my concealers. I know some people do. They feel like it brightens. Sometimes I feel like on me, if I get too light, I just, I don't like the way it looks. I don't really like it with a brush, although I always blend in with a beauty blender after I use a brush anyway, so. All right, this is giving me a lot of coverage and it's blending in really nicely. I'm surprised. I thought initially I was way too light. It's not feeling quite as dramatically light. I do feel like it's a smidge light for me. Formula goes on really nicely. And I'm gonna use some of my RCMA No Color Powder, which is my favorite under eye setting powder. Okay, I think this works pretty well. Let's see if I can get you a little bit closer. Yeah, I like it. It's nice coverage. So far, so good, but I think I'm going to check in with you guys later, see how it held up, see if it's creasing, see if I feel like a mess or like a winner, and we'll see. I'll check in with you guys later. Okay, concealer update. If you remember, this is the side that has the Tarte corrector and this is the side that doesn't have the Tarte corrector it just has my NARS concealer as a corrector yeah I think it held up pretty well there's a little creasing but I feel like I have like like one wrinkle under each eye that just is gonna crease regardless I do think it gave me good coverage I don't know if I like it better than my NARS but I do like it it's a like I don't know I'll try some of the others see if it becomes a love but I feel like my NARS rating creamy concealer still kind of still kind of beats it a little bit Okay, so today's concealer is the Kat Von D Locket Concealer Cream. I don't know if this is a new formulation from her old concealer. I know her old concealer was actually, you know, one of the ones that I liked from my last review. But this is a whole new packaging. 
it looks totally different so i'm assuming this is the completely new concealer really cool packaging kat von d nails it with the packaging this is my first time i've just opened this i've never opened this before i got light 13 cool is the shade name and i did like i did yesterday i have the tarte cc on this side not on this side and i have the nars radiant creamy concealer in honey on my dark circles on both eyes this is double color corrected this is single color corrected this is a more reasonable sized wand i feel like makes a little bit more sense i'm thinking about the shape of it the way it's bent i'm i i kind of like how it's fitting applies really nicely okay let me go over this with my beauty blender the color match on this is much better for me than yesterday's i have to say I like this much better, much more of a natural look. Get closer here. I like the coverage. Okay, I'm gonna set both sides. Okay, I like this. I don't know if it's giving me quite as much coverage as yesterday or quite as much coverage as my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which is my favorite. But so far, I really like it. So I'm gonna check in a little bit later in the day and let you know how this holds up. But so far, I'm impressed. Okay, concealer update. I, yeah, it really did kind of settle in my creases. I don't know, this creased more than I was expecting it to. Hmm. Okay, so today's concealer is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. And heard very good things about this. Full coverage says it's creaseless. Really nice packaging, although I've kind of gotten used to the applicator. Uh, I got the shade Fair. It says full coverage, creaseless, and waterproof. Double color corrected, single color corrected, just like usual. This is having a really hard time coming out. All right, here we go. This feels really thick, really thick. This reminds me of the It Cosmetics, which for me was a little bit too heavy. We'll give this a try. Yeah, this feels a lot like the It Cosmetics bye bye which i reviewed in my last review but yeah like it feels in texture almost identical to that we're gonna go right in with the beauty blender shade is blending in nicely it looked like it was a little bit too light when i first put it on but i feel like the shade is like when it blends in it's blending in quite nicely i'm getting pretty good coverage too let's take a look here get a little bit closer nice coverage i'm really surprised how well it thinned out because that went on really so I'm going to set this again with my RCMA No Color Powder. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and then I'm going to check back in with you a little bit later in the day and we're going to see how this held up. Okay, concealer update. Oh, uh, I guess it creased a little. Not, not a lot. I, it's not very natural. Like, I mean, I was blowing my nose a lot, but I don't feel like it... It's like it felt too thick to me for me. I mean, if you love the like the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye formula, then you will love this formula. Something really heavy, really full coverage. For me, it's just a little bit too heavy for under my eyes. It doesn't crease as much, I feel like, as something that is this heavy. Still creases on me a little bit. It's not a very natural look. So I still feel like my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer still wins this and it's still my favorite. I do have a couple more to try though, so we'll see if I find another one I like as much, but yeah, I think I actually like the Shape Tape better than this one if I had to pick, although this coloring is a little bit better on me, but the Shape Tape, I feel like in formula is just, it's a little bit better, less likely to crease, a little bit more of a natural look, but you still get the coverage. Okay, new concealer today, and today I've just opened up, so it'll be the first impression of the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. The foundation, as I'm sure you've heard me mention, is probably my favorite foundation ever. I am obsessed with it. So when I heard they had a concealer, I jumped on board. I actually haven't used it yet, even though I, I didn't actually rush out and get it. I don't know why, but I, I think I was like so afraid it was gonna be disappointing. Picked up the shade Fair. Again, double color corrected, single color corrected, like usual. It's got a pretty much average wand, very similar to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Actually, yeah, they look like they are about the same size. It went on really smoothly and it looks like it's blending in really well. I don't know if it's giving me quite as much coverage. I feel like some of my dark circles, even though I double color corrected on this side, it is entirely possible that I just didn't get enough sleep last night, but I don't 
I feel like it's not giving me quite as much coverage as I think I want, but it is blending in seamlessly. So, all right, I'm gonna set this again with some powder. It does give a very natural finish. Very natural. Not as much coverage though as I feel like my NARS one gives me. But I will check in a little bit later in the day and we'll see how well it held up. Okay, so concealer update. Yeah, it creased a little. I don't know if I got as much coverage as I'd like. It's good, but I'd like more. And there was a little bit of creasing. Not a huge amount, but a little bit. It definitely stayed even. I think it looked nice. I think it's good. I don't know if it's a favorite, but I do think it's a it's a decent concealer, especially if you don't have a lot you need to cover up and you're just looking for something just more lightweight to just kind of cover up, you know, a little bit. Like if you don't need a full, full coverage, could be a good option for you. Okay, so today's concealer is actually the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer. Like I have been double color corrected, single color corrected. Although to be honest, I haven't noticed a huge difference in how any of these concealers react, but I want to keep it consistent. Doe foot applicator, very similar to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and the one yesterday, which was the Too Faced. This is going on a little bit thicker than in yesterday's. Not as thick as some of the others. The shade that I picked up is in 1C Light Cool. She looks a little light on me. I don't know if it's this lighting or what, but I almost feel like it's like emphasizing my dark circles and I already color corrected them. I'm not finding the coverage to be as good. Yeah, I, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not finding the coverage to be very good. Like you can still see, even though I del double color corrected on this side, I feel like you're still seeing, I, I'm not, I'm not like excited about it. I don't hate it. I mean, it did blend in quite well. Not in love. I'm going to set it though. And I am going to check in later in the day and let you know. But as of right now, eh, it's not terrible. I guess now that it's been set, but I'm not, I'm not like jumping up and down excited about the coverage. I'm just going to put it out there. Not terrible. Just not exciting. Okay, so concealer update. I do feel, I did have to rub my eyes a little bit today, but it feels like it's getting a little clumpy and there's a little bit of creasing here. And I mean, the coverage isn't, it didn't turn out to be terrible, but it's just not, it's not wowing me. Like the finish isn't as natural and I, I, I just, I'm, I'm not, I'm not crazy about it. It's just okay. It's just, it's not phenomenal. Okay, and those were my new concealers. They were actually pretty much all first impressions, I would say. So as far as my least favorite concealer from this video, which is my D-list, I would have to go with the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I just did not like the way it sat on me. I know a lot of people love this, just didn't work on me. It was too heavy, it creased too much. Now, my favorite of this video was the Tarte Shape Tape, which I feel like is very controversial because limited availability, it's constantly selling out. Of this video, it was probably my favorite. However, I have to say that overall, my favorite concealer of all time, from video one, video two, my absolute A-list concealer has gotta be the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have it in three shades. Yes, I'm that obsessed. I've mentioned this before in other videos, but if this is your first time watching, I use the shade Honey as more of like a peach color corrector, which is so lightweight, works so perfectly. Great coverage and lightweight. I use the shade Vanilla as like my regular concealer, and then I use the shade Chantilly as a highlight. I either use it to sort of help shape my brow bone. Sometimes I'll use it like underneath my contour as that like nice little like highlight there. So you get like that real like cut look. I don't know why I keep doing that. I'm like. So absolute A-list concealer. Gotta be the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Still holds up as my favorite even after testing all these new ones. So, after two videos of concealers, if there are any others, let me know, leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you, love your suggestions. In fact, most of these that I tried in this video were suggestions from you. I also wanna know what your most favorite and what your least favorite concealers are, so leave those in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. A while back, I was actually suffering from anxiety and depression, and I truly 
literally believe that beauty and makeup saved my life, and I believe it can save yours too. So if you want to join my Starlet Squad, be sure you hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on all my social media channels, the links will be in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you join me next time.